Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn single digit subtraction with objects. So what is subtraction? We know that subtraction is one of the four basic mathematical operations on numbers. What do you mean by subtracting? To subtract means to take away from a group or group of things. What will happen when you subtract? When you take away or subtract from a group or group of things, the number of things in the original group will reduce or become less. Just like how addition is represented with the help of a plus symbol, the symbol which is used to represent subtraction is a minus symbol. Let us go into the details of this video to understand more about subtraction. You had five star stickers with you. Your sister or your brother took away one star sticker from you. What is the remaining number of stars with you now? Let us count. One, two, three, four. So you had five stars and your sister or your brother took away one star from you. The answer or the difference or the remaining number of stars with you now is four. This is how you represent in numerical numbers. Five minus one is equal to four. Minus is the symbol which is used to represent subtraction. The answer that you get by subtracting two numbers is called as a difference. So the difference here in this case is 4. Just like in addition, when you add two numbers, the answer that you get is called as the sum or the total. In subtraction, when you subtract two numbers, the answer that you get is called as the difference. Let's do more examples to understand the concept of subtraction. You have six balls with you. Your friends came and asked you for some balls. So, you gave away three balls to your friends. Now, what is the remaining number of balls with you? The remaining number of balls is 1, 2, 3. So how do you represent this in numbers? You have 6 balls with you. You gave away 3 balls. So the remaining number of balls will be 3. Let us see some of the keywords that you will be using in subtraction. The keywords are take away, give away, difference, minus, less than and remaining. When you see these keywords, you can understand that the problem is a subtraction sum. Let us see the next sum. Your mother got seven apples from the fruit market. She asked you to give away four apples to your friends. So, what is the remaining number of apples with you now? One, two, three. So how do you represent this in numbers? You had seven apples with you which your mother got from the fruit market. She asked you to give away four apples to your friends. So the remaining number of apples with you now will be three. Seven minus four is equal to three. Hope you are able to understand the concept of subtraction. You and your friends went to a birthday party. There were eight balloons in the party. You, with your friends, burst out a few balloons. Let us count how many balloons you all burst. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you burst out seven balloons of the eight balloons. So what is the balloon that is remaining now? One. Represent this in numbers. You had eight balloons in the party. You and your friends 
burst out seven balloons. So the remaining balloon now is one. Eight minus seven is equal to one. You have two cricket bats with you. You accidentally broke both the bats. So how many cricket bats do you have with you now? Empty or zero. So two bats were there with you. You broke both the bats. So what is the answer now? You have zero bats with you or you have no bats with you. Two minus two is equal to zero. You went to a cycle shop to buy cycles. There were five cycles in the shop. You were waiting to select the bicycle that you wanted to buy. Suddenly, three people came in and took away three cycles. So, what is the remaining number of cycles in the shop now? One, two. Now, you have to select one from these two cycles. So, how do you represent this in numbers now? There were five cycles in the shop. Three people came and took away three cycles. So, what is the number of cycles remaining now? Two. Five minus three is equal to two. Dear viewers, these are all the topics that children will learn in class one under the topic subtraction. Single digit subtraction with objects. Properties of subtraction, horizontal and vertical subtraction by counting backward, subtraction using number line, subtraction by counting forward, subtraction of two digit numbers without regrouping, story sums and subtraction worksheet. Of these, I have covered the first topic single digit subtraction with objects in this video. In my upcoming videos, I will be covering each of these topics in separate videos. Links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video, the next topic on subtraction.